Welcome to the Fox Learn. Today we will learn how to use a background worker. A basic Windows application runs on a single thread usually referred to as UI thread. This UI thread is responsible for creating painting all the controls and upon which the code execution takes place. So when you are running a long running task, the UI thread locks up and the UI application turns white rendering your application to not responding state. Leave the UI thread free for painting the UI. .NET has made the background worker object available to us to simplify threading. This object is designed to simply run a function on a different thread and then call an event on your UI thread when it's complete. Background worker makes threads easy to implement in Windows forms. Intensive tasks need to be done on another thread so the UI does not freeze. It is necessary to post messages and update the user interface when the task is done. The background worker may sound quite intimidating, but actually it's very easy and intuitive to do use once you've done the first time. A progress bar visually displays progress and the progress bar control in Windows Forms can be used with a background worker. Why use the background worker? You can use it to shift some heavy calculations, for example database access or file searching, to another thread and make the user interface more responsive. If both UI and the heavy calculations are ran within the same thread the UI appears to hang, making the average PC user think the program has crashed. So let's do it the decent way and use background worker. The do work method is like any other event handler. Here we must look at the C sharp view of your file, where we will see the do work method. You should see that the background worker one underscore do work event is generated when you double click on do work. Background worker also provides a run worker completed event which fires after the do work event handler has done its job. Handling run worker completed is not mandatory, but one usually does so in order to query any exception that was thrown in do work. Furthermore, code within a run worker completed event handler is able to update Windows forms and WPF controls without explicit marshalling, code within the do work event handler cannot.
we can add instructions to the background worker by adding arguments and return values. We need to add arguments, invoke the background worker, and then receive the results of the thread.
To cancel the parallel operation midway, press the cancel button. Note that the UI thread is now free to perform any additional task during this time and it is not locked by the data intensive operation that is happening in the background. We implemented the code for a background worker control. We generally instead prefer thread pool when we need many threads. And threads are not always useful. IO operations, for example, cannot always be multi-threaded well. Thank you for watching this video.